adding those up of course and that'll give us equivalent units of production in the department during june and then the next thing we'll calculate is the cost per equivalent unit so that we can assign out the costs to the units and that's going to be the costs here so eventually we want to be able to apply out the costs to the, the amount that are still left in ending work in process and the amount that have been transferred out and now of course we've got the units involved that are still in ending work in process with regard to materials and conversion and the amount that has been uh, completed and transferred out and so now we're going to take those amounts and use them to apply out the uh, cost and we'll need to in order to do that get a cost per equivalent unit calculation.